You might have heard of Christmas crackers. But have you heard of Graham crackers? No. No. They're a traditional American recipe. And I have just made some for the first time. Hello, I'm Rachel. Welcome or welcome back to Smile English Stories, where you can listen to English in lots of different contexts. If I cook too quickly or too slowly, you can change the speed in YouTube. For me, a cracker is a savoury biscuit, not a sweet biscuit like graham crackers. I used to love eating cheese on cream crackers when I was living in England. We call it cheese and biscuits. A graham cracker is traditionally a square or a rectangular biscuit made with wholemeal flour, not white flour. Graham in English can be a first name or a last name, a surname. The Graham in Graham Crackers comes from the surname from Reverend Sylvester Graham. He was a preacher, so a man of the church, in the Presbyterian Church in the 1800s in America, in the US. Reverend Graham thought, he believed that pleasure in life should be minimum. So, no alcohol, no coffee, and no other things that I am not going to talk about because I know children listen to my videos. Now you might think that that's just a little strict, a little extreme, but his father died when he was only two and he lived with a relative who had a pub and he had a lot of bad experiences with people drunk. So he detested alcohol. The people who followed Reverend Graham's teaching were called Grahamites and they were vegetarians. They only ate vegetables and a special flour was created for them. A special brown flour, a whole wheat flour called Graham flour because it was probably a little bit more nutritious, more healthy. And from the Graham flour, they made Graham bread and Graham crackers for a snack. Reverend Graham died in 1851, but in 1898, some companies started to commercialize Graham crackers. They started to make a lot of Graham crackers. They started to mass produce them. And the rest is history. So let's get going. Let's get started. Let's get cracking and make some crackers. First, we need to prepare two baking trays. Now that should be easy. If I cut my paper straight with my scissors, I should be able to cut two pieces of paper Ooh, to cover my baking trays. One. So far, so good. I am not going to use my food processor today. I'm going to make the graham crackers by hand. 
but I am going to use my food processor as weighing scales. So first, we need to get two big bowls out of the cupboard. One bowl to weigh the dry ingredients and the other bowl to make like a cream. So first we need to weigh 100 grams of plain flour, about 60 grams of whole meal flour, that's brown flour, and about 20 grams of wheat germ. Now wheat germ apparently is good for ladies because it has a lot of magnesium in it. It's very good for me. Close the wheat germ with the very practical Clip. On my little plate, I have a quarter of a teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of bicarbonate of soda, and half a teaspoon of cinnamon. The Americans do like putting cinnamon in things. Me too. So next, we need to add the magic ingredients to the other dry ingredients and whisk them together with a whisk. Why? I don't know. Perhaps it's to make it nice and airy, lots of air. So next we need to cream butter with honey and sugar in the bowl. So you need 110 grams of butter, 75 grams of sugar, brown sugar, well about 75. I am going to use a little less. I don't like very sweet biscuits. And one tablespoon of honey. Runny honey. Not set hard honey. You just eat that with a spoon. <laughs> It needs to be light and fluffy, so you need muscles. My arms aren't being no. cute. Oh, no, 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 no. This did not happen. No. no. Okay, now I'm ready to add the dry ingredients. Goodbye. Hello. And mix them together. should be quite thick but a little sticky too and you divide you separate the mixture in two you separate it in half and then you need to roll it with a rolling pin into two rectangles two rectangles about three or four millimeters thick and 25 centimeters long and 16 centimeters wide. So we'll see what happens.
two trays and they need to go in the freezer for 10 minutes before I put them in the oven. Not a lot of room in the freezer. So I can switch the oven on at 175 degrees. So I suppose now I should get going, I should get cracking, I should get started on the washing up. <laughs> now that's a cracker. <laughs> didn't take too long. She's crackers. And now put them in the oven for about four minutes. One way. Four minutes. Hello. Take them out turn them round the other way and put them back in the oven for about another four minutes. Another four minutes. Are you ready for some crackers? Until the crackers are nice and brown. Wow! While the crackers are still warm, I'm going to cut them properly. And I think I'm going to cut some in half because they're quite big. And after 10 minutes, I can put them on a cooling tray. Could you use your graham crackers? Well, you could make the base for a cheesecake or a fruit tart. Or if you're having a barbecue, you could try toasting marshmallows in the barbecue and eating them between the graham crackers with some chocolate. It's called a s'more. Or, you could just dip one in a cup of tea, like I would dip a digestive biscuit or a ginger biscuit in a cup of tea in England. Anyway, I hope you like them when you try them. You can taste the cinnamon.